What up, you corny suds? It's your buddy Deceptive back, and today I figured I would try and hopefully get to level 42 in the tech tree. No boosters are on, and I figured I would play this little tier 6 Italian tank destroyer, the Bassanto, Bassanto, whatever it's called, if you want to pronounce it. Um, unfortunately, as you guys may or may not know, I could not get around to doing the 24 hour live stream. Um, so, what's this mess? Uh, 6k damage. Okay, so if I'm going to do 6k, try to do 6k damage, alright, I will activate two personal reserves. Alright, so we do have the snipey gun on this thing. It's apparently, apparently, it's pretty accurate. 175 pen 360. Mmm. Not too shabby. Let's go. go. Problem with this tank is it has no armor, so it solely relies on camo. This th this tank very much reminds me of how you play Stugs, which are assault tanks. Only difference is Stugs have armor. This thing doesn't. Um, so a Stug has actually been known to bounce a shell or two. Okay, RE25 is very aggressive uh, and a very well-known TD spot bush okay enemy T3485 has been lit don't care he's not my target of opportunity am I gonna go here and support the heavies absolutely not I'm in fact gonna try and get into this little bush area here T E25 has been lit so he's backing off too sweet which means his camo rating's not the best. That's fine. That or their spotter is... Okay, so he's not in that bush. Yeah, see, this is another problem with this tank is the um, bloom while moving your t your your um, gun so definitely snapshot is definitely needed so amx has done a little bit of work i genuinely think the t50 is yeah nowhere near where he should be okay yeah he's gone hill okay so t50's gone hill Okay, yeah, that panther's been lit, clearly. And that T50-2 is clearly trying to light up our heavies for artillery. Or for may yeah, I was going to say, or for maybe tanks that are... So this is the problem with this tank. I mean, literally, turning left and right is making my tank go forward. I'm not pushing forward. The tank has no zero steer. Okay, P forty three is lit. No one shot him. I Chimera is. Okay, we lost that E E twenty five unfortunately to an SU one thirty. So that tells me that the SU one thirty is still at the at the spawn. We have Hill. Which is good. Okay, I'm going to roll forward just a touch. Okay, there's their E25. Okay, T69, Chimera, and E25 versus the T20. Why is that T20 not dead yet? Like, for real. Why is he not dead yet? Okay. Such fun. The life of a tank destroyer trying to get shots on vehicles that you can't because wargaming have made it so that the world is basically one great big chewed up piece of bubblegum. Um, even though technically, you know, rocks like this would not be on this this slope because erosion, natural weather erosion would have, well, eroded it. Got no shot on that T20-2. Again, random rock just jagged out because Wargaming wants to set up a defensive measure. Super Purge is spotted. 
down south. Interesting. Uh, again, I'm doing nothing here, so I've got to try and do something. All right. Udez is the same, got the same th thoughts process as me, which is we need to move up, especially if we want to get shots. Now, again, this tank's issue is lack of view range. Okay. No shots on the BIS because by the time he even came into my, my ability to spot or even view range, etc. You know, I mean, this gun, like I said, I spotted him, clearly. I mean, I spotted him. Okay, so we've got trees falling back there. I just fired one off to... Okay, I'm lit. Three, two, one... No shots at me. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Now bear in mind that it was an addition. Here it comes. Oh, no, not at me. Wow. Why, Udez? Why not at me? Um, artillery. Why not at me? Okay, so it was the Udez 4-5 that lit me. Okay. I've uns I'm now unspotted. So is he. I'm backing off. Come on. Come on. KV-1S is smart because he's taken the low road. Okay, I've got no shot whatsoever. You know, I'm going hill. I'm I'm going I'm doing I'm going hill. Why? Because hopefully I will be able to get supportive shots. T sixty nine, don't die, please. Pull back, please pull back, please pull back. I need you alive, mate. I need you alive. We all need you alive. You know. That Scorpion G clearly does not know how to penetrate in a Super Purge, which is a shame. Here's a hint. Aim for the springs on the turret. Or aim for the machine gun port. You have the accuracy in that tank. Okay. Uh, no, no shots. Again, see what I'm saying? By the time you get your gun even remotely swung on close onto the target, you know, it's like almost impossible to actually get a freaking shot to do anything. Uh, sadly, we have lost our T69, who has two kills. Good for you. And our Chimera, who had three kills. Again, five enemies by these two guys. Great. They carried, They did their weight. They, they carried. They even carried me. I'm admitting that, yes, technically they carried even me. And now you understand why I came to hill. Three, two, one. There we go. Again, it's all about, it's all about knowing, again, I, I want the old view range system back into the game where the higher your tank was, the easier it was to spot. Um, they changed the view mechanics um, a few years ago. Alright, so we've got artillery. We've got one more artillery than they do. So... Unfortunately, I don't have view range. I genuinely just don't. Okay, I will fire one off in that general direction. There you go. That was a premium shell that cost me a lot of money. Oh, wait, no, it's not. No, it won't. Okay, so there's a tiger. He's, he's going to hug that rock for sheer life. For dear life. So that tells me... That the Dickamax is probably still in spawn. Now that tiger's definitely got either hardening. Ah, you lucky tiger, you. Okay, there it is. Come on. Nice. He's dead. Back up just a little bit more. No, I'm not going to take the shot. Not taking the shot. I'm going to let him get comfortable. Let him get comfortable. I've only got 600 hit points. Dick and Max, if he pens me with a HE shell, can one shot me. And he can penetrate me because I've got no armor. So we're going to play it cool. We're going to play it safe. We're going to play it defensive. Okay. 
Well, you can keep beep beeping all you want, mate. Come on, Tiger. Back off. Back up. Make a mistake. Make a mistake. Make a mistake. Come on. Oh, 40 TP. That oh, okay. Our 40 TP is definitely AFK. So that SU low rolled on me, for sure. So we notice the SU that's in there. So we're waiting for artillery. Okay, Tiger's trying to bait a shot out from me. No. Nope. He's definitely trying to bait a shot out from me. Okay, magically our 40 TP seems to have grown balls. Something tells me that they're definitely... Yep, yeah, and now I'm dead. Oh shit. Oh fuck me. I legit was seeing that shell arch and I was like, yeah, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Uh, I'm so fucking dead. Alright, so what I'm going to do. Oh shit. We lost our E25. Wow, come on. Full health T40, full health Scorpion G. Are you kidding me? We're going to draw this out. We're going to end up drawing this out because those two refute. You know what? Here, I'm sorry, but you, you... 
Uh, in a, no, not inappropriate behavior. You know what? Fuck it. Take that anyway. Uh, you. Uh, blacklist. You. You. Bot. Scorp. Blacklist. You both refuse to do absolutely anything this entire game. GG, it's over. Unless we magically get two people on cap, it's a draw. Yes, they've got more hit points than us, in theory. I don't do draws. This is horseshit. All because our entire fucking team refused to fucking take on a Tiger One. And the Tiger One eventually said, fuck it. You know, because even he's like, no, I have honor. I'm not drawing this shit out. It's too late. Ten seconds. There's no way we can win. Absolutely nothing I can do. All because of the Frankenstein Prime was AFK for 90% of the match. Again, this is what I'm saying to people. Wargaming, you need to do something about the, the AFK slash bot players. I'm sorry, but you do. But anyway, on to the next one. That was a horrible game. Horrible game. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Can't believe we drew that. Well, is what it is. But we did get one of the quests done. On to the uh, next one. Hmm. While we're here, did I get any blind spotting? I did. I actually hit that SU-130. Twice. <laughs> oh, God. It's Light City. Light Tank City. All right. So, be prepared to kiss my camo goodbye. Bye. Bye, Felicia. And so, I have no armor. I need to get somewhere. There's no art. Oh, and there is artillery. I was going to say there's no artillery, but there is. But we got to put the Avenger, who's most likely going to die in the first 5, 10 seconds, because we've got three light tanks. Like, seriously, what is with all the light tanks? Yes, I get it. Right now, there are too many tank destroyers um, in the North American server. And that's where I play primarily, guys. I play in the North American server. Um, like I said, this is with the upgraded engine, upgraded tracks, upgraded gun, upgraded radio, and even my counterpart is faster than me. And he's got the same gun as me, so cool. Uh, Achilles ain't gonna see shit. RT50 and our Chaffee both went here, okay? So they're gonna go do a corner push. Interesting. No, that that is interesting. We're gonna. Yeah, uh, uh, you want to do a corner? We can do a corner rumble. Let's do this. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, there's an MT25 out in the open behind a rock that War Gaming conveniently placed too close to our spawn that allows an enemy light tank to not get shot at because you know War Gaming. Ah, oh, yeah, you're right. I'm not, and I'll tell you why. See, I can't even get my gun down. The gun depression on this thing is abhorrent. This thing cannot aim down. Oh, good kill. So two uh, two of their... Okay, so there's the other T-34. Okay, we've got a chaffy shooting and sniping. You know what? I love it. I fucking love it. Love it! Right, so I'm actually... Oh, shit. Shit on a stick. Woo! Out. But I'm not lit. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not lit. That's the thing. Unless he was lit. And the guy's aim was that bad. It missed him and hit me. <laughs> but like I said, this... Oh. Of course it would be the fucking SU. Who's probably there? No shit got kicked up. No, nope, he's over there. OK, 
Come on. You didn't proxy spot him. Bro. Uh, it's all good. Yeah, we got this one. This is going to be a GG on to the next one. Oh. SU100 knows what he's doing. He is missing hit points, so did I get a blind shot into him, maybe? I don't know. We'll find out. Get him, Chaffee. Get him the Chaffee. Get him the Chaffee. You got this. You know, <laughs> a friend one asked, uh, once asked me, why am I not in like a, a throat metal band, you know? It's just like... <clears throat> it's just... Frankly, dude, I... I no. <laughs> just, just no. I, I have the deepest of respects for, for throat metal artists, you know. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Yeah, I just, I can't do that like that. Yeah, I can do Cobra Commander all day. Yes, we're going to do this. Oh, look, an Achilles. Who's going to get him? The Hellcat, the KV-2, or the two Italian bruschettos? We shall see on the next exciting adventures of World of <gasps> Tanks. Oh, look, look, look. Suffer not an artillery to live. Get him, get him, get him. Serious, guys, seriously? Ser come on, come on. G -g and boop. There we go. GG, that was a victory. We're going to put our PPs in the air and spin like we just don't care. Yes. Not too shabby, not too shabby. I'll do the next one. Okay, we are on Glacier. Standard battle. Uh, I only do standard battles, guys. Oh, God, we've been up tiered. <laughs> tap the two key. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just, I'm just, I only tap the two key when I come across super heavies, like the IS-3, the Lerva, um... The Kira, Kira, pshing, sorry, and the Joe Rogan. <laughs> Everyone keeps asking me why do I call the Kiri the Kira? Uh, because She Ra, Masters of the Universe, He Man, and Joe Ro is in Joe Rogan because that used to be his nickname for a while when he did um, Fear Factor. Uh, if I remember correctly, in one episode, one of the, the guests called him Joe Ro, and he goes, no, my name's Joe Rogan, and so I swear it was like on. It was like an old obscure uh, outtake on MTV. Um, it was absolutely fucking hilarious. Let's see. Am I going to get a chance to hit anything? Where has our light tanks gone? All three went one side of the map. GG. Yep, I missed him. I, he, he didn't even render to me. Missed him. Why? Because all three of our light tanks went in one erection. I mean one direction. Now, the issue with this tank is it has really horrible gun depression and gun handling. Um, everyone's like, I'll just get the derp gun. It's fun. It's like a little KV-2 tank destroyer. No, just, just no. Uh, like I said, look, I can't. It, I, I lit, legit have to expose damn near all my tank and then gravity gravity takes over. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you, do you, do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm lit. Oh, no, I'm not. Holy crap. Okay, so I guess I can go down here and prevent his push. Okay, so he went up the hill. Fair enough. I have no, like I said, I have no idea why are, so they got an A43 that went up there as well, okay, the key, key Ra went one way, so, ooh, the Joe Rogan's over here, Joe Rogan, dude, There's absolutely nothing I can do. Uh, so yeah, like I said, light tanks can be fun to play. You just got to figure out how to play them. 
Artistic. Uh, oh, it's still in battle. Are you kidding me, bruv? All right, we can play my Hellcat. <laughs> oh, you just hate it. I, mean, I I would be nice if like after like 30, 45 seconds, your tank can be playable, but you can if you play the next game, you forfeit the end result of the previous game or something. You know, so if you, if you win, you know, but you didn't know that, and you play another game in that tank, and you lose in the, in the new match, you can't go back to the old result. I think that would be kind of cool. Or you can at least take the crew out of the tank and put it in something else. So if you've got a crew in a premium tank, and the premium tank's knocked out, you can take that crew and put it back into its regular tank. Alright, so fucking... What is with the light tanks today? Oh, cool! We won! Yay! Uh, in fact, I will... Add a little bonus onto that, even though I don't... No, you're not... No, I'm not going to add a, my, my times two onto that. I'll add it into the next game. But our Hellcat is here. Um, I... Nine times out of ten, I play my Hellcat nowadays just for the lulls. Um, like I said, this is this is a, a uh, money-making build. Um, no premium anything. Everything's all just regular consumables. Um, not even chocolate. Uh, I even do it on my Super Hellcat. Um, I used to put premium stuff in my, in my, my, my premium vehicles. I don't anymore. Mostly because... Um, I genuinely feel that they don't need it. Um, everyone's like, bit, 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 bit. Okay, Porky Pig, I get it. Three, two, one. Oh, no. I wish. Overshot. Readjust the sights. Oh, good shot, T37. Props to you, mate. Okay, so they've lost one light tank already. Good news for us. Bit of a good news, bad news situation, though. All right. So, he's not lit anything. That doesn't mean that there isn't anything up here. And if there is, I'm kind of boned. I'm not going to the corner. I'm not. I'm going to back up a little bit. I'm going to do something that you used to be able to do. I'm not sure if you can still do it. Yeah. There we go. I like being a bit of a mountain goat. <laughs> And get into places that most people are like, how the hell did you get up there in a Hellcat? There we go. So I lit up that MT-25. Oh, of course. Yeah, and it would be a fucking Skoda, wouldn't it? Alright. It's alright. It will not the huge so far, Skoda. But I'll get my revenge. I will get my revenge. Okay, if I was a Skoda, I would be right there. Yep. No, I don't have any HE. Revenge, Skoda. Oh, shell deviated. Yeah, not nice, is it, Skoda? Stay there, buddy. Behind you, behind you, behind you. Nothing I can do. Okay. All right. Let's back off. Because I'm by myself. Gonna let him try and have that corner. It's all yours. 
MT25. Okay, so it was definitely the SUO 100 that let me. Okay, yeah, we just dinged them. It's a SUO 100. It has no fucking armor, and I, quote unquote, <clears throat> just dinged them. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, KV2's fired. Get in there, you. Yeah. Okay, Joe wrote no shot. No shot. MG25 is dead. Got him. Stop, Cobra. He's done. And the T50's up there. So, I'm going to sit here and camp. Force a little shit to us. Oh no. He went after our artillery. Don't care. Don't care, dear care. He just wants the kills. See, that's how you spot a player who openly does not care about his team. He just cared about these kills. Right there. And, yeah, that... Quantum Bur Quantum Gilbert Smelly Pirate. Okay. I, I mean it is what it is. But so two Bracero games, one Hellcat game. You can see the difference in how they play. Um well actually three Bracero games, I think. Was it three? No, I'll skip one. I'll skip the one where I died, because you know why the hell not. But uh Give me a second, guys. <sighs> okay. Oh, uh, yeah, the loosh is the... Okay. There we go. So, let's go back to you, buddy. And hopefully get a game in. On to the next one. All right. Ah, we on Paris. Yes, I remember when the Italians invaded Paris. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're not going to get this mission done. Uh, 6k damage. <laughs> it's not even 6. It, there is technically 6k hit points, but not going to happen. All right, so... Where do we go? Do we go? There's non, no heavies, so it, it's going to be a bit of a brawl in the middle, maybe. Hopefully, so if we can prop up in the middle, maybe get a few shots off. So, we're going to head to this corner here. Thank you, T6. Love you, too. Let's see. We've got an Australian AC4 Experimental. Let's throw some shrimp on that barbie. Sorry, I, I that was cringe. I, I apologize. Come on, T6. Give me some shots. Give me some targets. Give me something to shoot at. Alright. So gun up a little bit. Oh, I hit something. I hit artillery. <gasps> no, I hit the KV-222. No, no, give me a premium show. When it comes to super heavies like this, yeah, I will load up a... <laughs> yeah. I will load up a premium round like that. Okay. Mm. 
If I don't get spotted... Mm, oh, he's on the other side of the building. Alright, cool. <laughs> so we've got a Skoda T40. Nishihorn tracked him. Bye, mate. <laughs> Do you really think I cared about getting a sixth kill? <laughs> I didn't give a shit, mate. On to the next one. That was a good game. Uh, 3K overall. I can't believe I actually bounced something. Granted, it was with my gun. But there you go, guys. We're going to end this video on a high note. So... <sighs> Mastery badge. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, apply. All good. Yes. Oh, that right there. That right there. Wonderful. Lovely. Love it. Uh, <laughs> so we can now move up into the tier 7 assault tank destroyer the cc-56 so i'm gonna take this crew bung it in the cc-56 right everyone's like but wait a minute you haven't you haven't you haven't you haven't you haven't yet yeah, yeah i know i know but you know what here sod it i will uh, just not the cruiser in fact i'm actually gonna have to get some more exp uh on the uh cruiser <laughs> because yeah i kind of burnt it all there we go so she's got an elite status now do I really want to try this derp gun? No, I do not. <laughs> no, I do not. 
<laughs> okay, so this radio, does this go on to just the uh, 55 and the 56, but not the 67? Um, eh? Progetto CC55 Mod 54. So that's the premium tank, isn't it? I think it's the premium version of this. Let's go to... Excuse me, let's go to the tech tree. Uh, 55 mod 6. I don't see the 55 mod 6. So yeah, it must be the premium vehicle. Anyway, guys, there we go. We officially are in tier 7 in the Z Italians. Italians. Okay, so uh, till then, guys, keep your shows flying, keep your enemies dying. Cobra Commander's out, and I'll see you in the next one.